Okay, so I'm talking like this because I had the seizure last night, as you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so I was getting the dogs ready, putting on their shoes, um, and um, I did feel an aura. I thought it would just go away because like it wasn't that strong of an aura and I've been having an aura for like the past two or three days and I didn't have a seizure so I thought I would be fine and so uh, I think I was getting up to put uh, Zena with the leash on the doorknob so I could throw out um, packets of the silica gels that were in in the shoes uh, that they came in the package and I blacked out and when I came out of it I was uh, on the ground and Zena was uh, there she was trying to calm me down she was uh, trying to give me kisses and comfort me and Devi was he was calm he was just there to like be emotional support and pretty much um, yeah um, I hurt my knees uh, on I think the corner of the wall so I am not exactly sure what happened. Um, I saw the video uh, that my mom took of my seizure, and uh, she took it with my phone because I guess that's the only thing that was available uh, close by. Um, but pretty much, I was cold and. Obviously, I bit my tongue because I am having a hard time talking properly. And yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, yeah, I hurt my knees. My knees still hurt right now. And um, by the way, I'm making this video on Tuesday. So, you know. I'm seizure Monday night. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't have like any bad headaches. I mean, like right now, but I mean, I do have some parts that's like it's sore over here. So maybe I hit like my jaw or something. Uh, this side doesn't hurt, but over here it hurts. So I think I hit my jaw, might be some bruising, I'm not sure, I think so, yeah. Um, so pretty much that, my, my jaw, my knees, my tongue, um, yeah, it sucks, but, you know, when your body's telling you that you're not feeling well, you have to listen to it, uh, no matter what, and, um, the dogs really had to go out, so, I, I wanted to take them out, but I should have listened to my mom and stayed inside, because the thing is, if I listened to my mom, then maybe I would have had a seizure on my bed, instead, of on the floor and hitting a bunch of stuff so yeah and I guess a new lesson that I have learned another thing the aura was getting stronger as soon as I got dressed um, as soon as I was uh, dressed for a while because uh, obviously over here it's really cold 
and I had to have like a sweater, I had to have a jacket and scarf and hat and I was waiting for a while, I think I was waiting for my mom uh, to get ready so I was waiting for a while and I guess I started to overheat and I was feeling uncomfortable so it was stressing me out more so I guess that could have been a factor in triggering the seizure as well um, so I guess you have to make sure that you're not overheated or too cold and you know you always have to be aware of those things make sure that you're that there's no extremes going on and just I guess be careful in that regard so here's a quick update on how my tongue is doing the next day, today, Wednesday, the day you're seeing this. Um, the thing is, when I brush my teeth, um, I brush my tongue too, so I can get the bacteria off. And I usually I'm very careful, and um, this time I wasn't because I forgot that I had an injury on my tongue. So, and as you can see, that's how it is. Uh, it opened, um, and it wasn't fun. Um, didn't didn't feel good. Um, as with any injury, it, it bled, um, well not any injury because not any injury bleeds, but pretty much my tongue hurts and I have to be conscious of this injury so that I don't make the same mistake and so that I don't reopen it the next time I brush my teeth. Really, really frustrating trying to talk. <sighs> but I have to. I have to let people know those who don't have epilepsy. Show them how how it is, how it feels to have epilepsy so they can understand or at least somewhat understand what it's like so that they don't have all these stigmas that you know people with epilepsy are possessed or something like that you know we're human too so <sighs> Frustrating. Frustrating talking like this. Mainly because I'm a bit of a grammar freak and I really am a stickler for pronunciation, at least with myself and when I correct my mom. But this is so frustrating because I'm not pron pronouncing anything properly. It's. I get it if you can't. But if you're able to and you don't. It gets frustrating. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not sure. And be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. And my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.